Yeah. She's cheating. Okay. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning, babe. Is everything okay? It's perfect. <laughs> Wait, is... Is this my birthday? No. Is it yours? No. Oh, it's it's not our anniversary. It's not so. Oh, oh, what is it? what's going on? I just want to put a smile on your face this morning, darling. Baby. <laughs> Baby. Seeing you smile is enough for me. Besides. I don't think you should go through all the stress. You're not even feeling fine. Thank you. Thank you. Open it, baby. <laughs> yeah. Baby, thank 
husband in the world. You're the best thing that can that can happen to any woman. You're the best dad. Yeah. And now I feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, you should have. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Babe, I know you might object to this, but um My mind is made up. You and I will be going on a getaway this weekend. Just you and I. Baby, you're not feeling fine. The doctor said... I don't know what the doctor said, yeah. I remember, but hey. My mind is made up. All right. And I am strong enough for this. Sure? I just want some time alone with my wife so that I can be for you that husband that you married. <sighs> okay. So what am I doing this weekend? Nothing. Fine. So where are we going? Surprise. No, I don't like surprises. Surprises. Just give me a hint, a tiny little hint. Where? Kiss me or not. <laughs> <laughs>
this place. A beautiful place. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm ready for a nap. Oh, you baby. <laughs> Alright, All right. I have a surprise for you. Baby, I'm all good. I'll have you. Okay? okay. <laughs> this way. What is going on? Just keep it. I just keep walking. You gotta trust me that. <laughs> you gotta trust me that. I'm glad I'm glad I'm going on. <laughs> to you then.
להציג בקור. Oh, my God. 
spawn. Oh, spawn. I beg you, please. It's not what you think. Oh. I can explain, please. An affair with my friend. Salem. How do you hear fun? Begin to explain. It's not what you think. I can explain. I can explain. How long has it been coming? It's not long. It's not long. It's not long. So then how long have I been here? Two years. So bearing that in mind, I'm just going to rephrase my question. How long have you fucking my friend? Please, please, please. Yes.
Sale. I want the truth. Do you hear me? Will you please? Please, I'm sorry. Just stop telling me you're sorry because you're not. Now, since you have been sleeping with my friend for as long as you and I have been married, I need to know exactly. What is the essence of this marriage? What does it even mean to you? I'm sorry. Take that thing off. Osborne, please. I beg you. Take that ring off. He hasn't gotten to that. Now! Now! No. With you. This is a joke. Oh, no, this is for the purpose. It's marriage, do you hear? Now, this is what people do. When you're in marriage and you get tired of it, you get up and you take a walk. That's what people do. Do you hear me? I am not joking with you. You ungrateful piece of rubbish. I picked you up from the gutter. Clean you up. Give you an identity. Give you a life. And I, in turn, give you my life, and you dare to snuff it out. Who are you? What kind of a woman are you? You know very well about my customs and traditions, yet you sleep with my friend. You're fiddling, thus defiling my bed. What did I ever do to you? Tell me what. I'm sorry. Shut up, you're not sorry. You're not sorry. Because if you were sorry, you would sit back and then watch the doctors go crazy. Searching for solutions to my human. But you sat down there, you had all the answers. But no, you would not speak up, you know why. Fucking my friend George was more important to you than my life. That's not exactly how it happened. How did it happen? Because I remember clearly that you, you fed me. You cleaned me up, you. You, 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 you prayed with me. You nursed me. Yet knowing that your atrocities put me in this predicament. How do you even sleep at night? Selene, as much as I am confused every time I look at you, now I'm wondering, is Mirabelle even mine? Of course, of course, she's yours. She's mine. How do you know? Because you have too many in your life. So how do you know, you prostitute? You suddenly chose to become promiscuous. You wish you did lie now. Do you know? I love him, Osborne. I'm sorry, but I love him.
we regret to announce the death of George Okezie, who died in a ghastly motor accident in the early hours of today, left behind a wife and two kids. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. No! feel right now? Tell me. I want to know. So many questions in your heart. But you're so afraid to ask. Because you are scared that the answers would break your heart. And I promise you they will. You found out about George. And then what? You bring me here. Go through the stress of all this. 
lock me up in this house and make me beg for my life? Is that it? You plan to kill me? Is that it? You said we were going to have a long weekend. I agree. So I'll go change up and meet you downstairs. I think it is time you and I had an honest conversation. Before we start with the wise, would you be kind enough to explain to me who this girl is? That, 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 that doesn't mean anything. Really? If this doesn't mean anything, then I guess George doesn't mean anything as well. And I am a woman. I am a woman. I am a woman born out of flesh like you. I have blood flowing through my veins. I have emotions like you. What makes us different? You dare justify cheating? This is just one out of the numerous things I have had to ignore just to remain your wife. I just want you to know that your hobby is shagging Emerald. That's a text message I received a day after my wedding. Emerald? Yes, Emerald. How could you sleep with my bridesmaid? I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You did! And I have proof. You slept with my bridesmaid you paid me one thousand five hundred dollars for the services. I have proof. Check your email that I received. You tell me that I do not care about your life. Do you care about mine? You go around sleeping with these women without protection. Isn't that it? Get nothing out of my face. And nothing out of inside. Open the door. Let me get out of here. We are both guilty, young man. Open that door. Let me go.
Osborne. Osborne, please, let's go home. We can fight when we get home, but I can't leave you here. But Salen, you choose to break my heart like this. You chose my friend. My best friend. That's not my brother. I didn't. I, I didn't entirely choose him. Not like that. <laughs> At least, certainly not with the intention of breaking your heart. I wouldn't do that to you. Osborne, the truth is, When I met you, something just wasn't clicking. Something wouldn't connect. I tried so hard to make it work. I tried so hard, but... But it just, just wouldn't click. And then you asked me to marry you. Everyone thought that I should say yes. That I should go ahead with the wedding. They thought it was the right thing to do. I was, I was going to, I mean, I, I was so sure that it was going to happen. I mean, I, I was faithful to you and I really, 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 really liked you. So I knew that with time, things, things were going to fall in place. But then I, I met George during the wedding preparation. I mean, it just all started with a harmless smile. And it boiled down to chattiness and playfulness. He even supported me and helped with the shopping. You know, we'd go out to shop for the wedding together and then sometimes we'd stop over for a few drinks. And if it felt like he, he brought out a more brilliant version of me. But even though I liked him, I never ever cheated on you. At least not then. I was faithful. I was I was willing to make our marriage work. I promise you I, I didn't sleep with him then. So what are you going to do? You would never really loved me. Yet you walked down the aisle with me. A spot. A chicken. The devil. Ah! Ah! See me. I love you. I love you. I love you.
never thought it would be like this. But do you know how it felt? Knowing that my husband went on our honeymoon with his side cheek. Knowing that he lodged her in the room directly opposite ours. And knowing that every night he would sneak out of bed and I would cry myself to sleep. Oh, your excuse, I have no excuse! I have no excuse! You should not have a friend of your husband! Alright? You should not have a friend of your husband! Everything. No. You gave me everything you could give to make up for not giving me the only thing that I required. How difficult is it for you men to understand that no woman wants to share her man? Do you know that this, this marriage is over, right? I'm taking my daughter with me. What? What did you say? I can't let you do that. We all
sorry. And I have no regret. I just don't want the world to say that I killed you after you commit suicide. So you're going to man up, get yourself up from that floor, get into the car, and we will live here together as adults. What do you know about love? I know, I go to dinner. You're taking everything from me, son. You're taking everything from me. You're taking all from me. I don't care what you do. At least you now understand what it means to be betrayed and hurt and underestimated. a bit. That's why you're the one I'm standing over. Hmm. You know what? I'm done. <clears throat> I'm just done having this conversation. Look at you. Kama has already started dealing with you. Look at you. You can't even move. You're too weak to do anything. You know what? I'm done. You don't have enough time to gallivant around town and travel around the world with your missy. <laughs> you think I didn't know? <laughs> All right, I hear you. I hear you, baby, come on. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm home. All right, I have to go. But I'll call you later. Hmm? What? Let me see, I love you. Okay? I really do love you, let me see. You have to learn to trust in what I feel for you. Yes. Okay. Right here. I have to go. Alright. I'll call you again. Yes, I will call you, let me see, stop. <laughs> all right, all right, love. Love you, love you, love you, bye. Yeah, bye. talking about what am I talking about? What? Yes. What? Why don't you love me? What nonsense are you talking about? I'm pretty love. abroad. Of course I knew. Get yourself up. I will be in the car.
You win, I let you win. So you win. So then you took a swipe at everything that I believed in. This man told my life. Cured my essence. Tore my world apart. With a single step. So then if I were offended you, please. Find it in your heart to forgive me. I said it a long time ago, if you ever asked, and I would have meant it. Please forgive me. For because of this, I have lost my self-worth. And I have no hope of ever. Finding who I was again. Please forgive me. You wanted to have a truthful conversation. I never cheated on you. I never broke my vows. You did. It is true, I never really loved you. Yet, I was willing to sacrifice it all for the sake of marriage up until you hit the last straw by sleeping with my sister. How could I forgive that? I see what the maid thought of sleeping with your best friend did to you. Now you can imagine what the knowledge of your entire escapades did to me. I planned it all, coerced your friend into playing that role. Oh dear, I hope he's still alive. I used the power I had to drive you crazy. As for your ailment, I wouldn't be surprised if the doctor truly told you what you were sick of. I guess it was more convenient to blame it on me. Dear husband, never underestimate the power of an angry wife. Thinking of you, it's nothing not about you. 